An area carpenter says when someone stole his power tools, he decided to take matters into his own hands. He saw his tools for sale online and decided to get them back without help from police. Those tools were stolen in Franklin County, and he got them back by confronting the presumed thief in Jefferson County. News 4's Russell Kinsall shows you how the man's efforts paid off. Somebody takes it from them and they're stealing their livelihood. Carpenter Chris Rainey says a thief stole $1,500 of his power tools. They were locked in the toolbox on the back of his truck outside his house in Villa Ridge. Like the tarps were undone and uh, some of the other stuff thrown about. So then when I opened my job box, I'm like, well, where's the lock at? And then, you know, shoot. All my stuff's gone, oh my gosh. A few days passed and Rainey saw someone selling tools on the OfferUp app and they looked familiar. And I just looked through it and I'm like, I saw this picture, I'm like, that's all of my tools right there. Chris told his wife Irene about his plan to meet the seller and get his tools back. Oh yeah, I thought my husband was nuts when he said that we're just going to go get it. And I said, no, we're not. And he's like, oh, I'm getting it. Here's the guy that showed up at a House Springs parking lot with the tools. The Rainies did reach out to law enforcement, but didn't wait for an officer. Irene waited in the car, prepared to call 911 if needed. You know, I'm kind of a do-it-yourself kind of guy, so I did it myself. Chris told the seller the tools were his and that he was armed and bluffed that police were coming. The seller left the tools and sped away. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office says the Rainies took a big risk and may have jeopardized the chance to put the thief in jail. This case had turned out well. Uh, I believe he got his property back and everything went fine. Um, but it really hurts our criminal case, too, if prosecutors ever sought for it because of the steps that were taken beforehand. The Rainies admit things could have gone wrong, but are glad they got all the tools back. Russell Kinsall, News 4.